Hello everyone and welcome to my Kingdom History of Kingdom Part 5 Louis album review. Now, Kingdom is this group that really lives by their name. Um, it th The music is so regal, the songs are always grand and unique and I really en enjoy their music and I was so excited when I found out that they were coming back. The teaser era was so exciting. Listening to the title track for the first time, listening to the album, and um I've really been just listening to that for the past couple of weeks and having fun with this album because this album is the best one they put out so far once again they managed to outdo themselves and their discography is quite of high quality and every time i think they can't possibly do something to impress me more than they already do here they go just proving me wrong because this is such a nice album i love the energy i love the vibe like i said when you talk about kingdom they they really live by that regal vibe you know um very grand very luxurious anything to do with royalty that's the vibe that their music gives and what i love about them is the way they pick melodies for those albums it's always interesting to me because they know themselves, they know what works for them, but beyond that, they know what type of vibe they want to give off. And that's become the main thing when they pick out songs. It's like every single time, every single album, the songs on here would really reflect what you would think Kingdom is. Um in terms of vibe, when you think about them, what type of music you imagine them making, this is exactly the music that they make. Like I said, they really live by their name. Everything is regal, everything is grand. And this album is no different. I love the songs. They're all so different from one another. There's not a single skip on here. It's like hit after hit after hit, regardless of which song end up being your favorite. The replay value of this album is huge. And I really like that. For me, one of the biggest things that make an album good is the replay value. And a great album is one that you can listen to on loop without getting tired and it's just so great in fact that you just want to keep listening to it and you find new things to fall in love with with each new listen and that's the case for this album now when it comes to my personal favorites i have four of them in this album and number four is destiny No, we are not in the language, she will bother that. No, we are not 
빠진 널 향한 게 아주 크게 보는 집에 버려 baby 점점 거울이 적혀가 심장이 뛰는 소리 들어봐 더 깊게 머물러도 돼너 원한다면 부서질 때 기다렸어 펼쳐진 밤 You are my destiny 넌 네가 필요하잖아 나의 손을 잡아 Love where you way like 사라지지 말아 옆에 있어줘 시릇같은 이 어둠 안에 아무도 찾지 못하게 That was my fourth favorite. I loved how unpredictable the song is. I love the vocals, but shout out to the rap line because they really did their thing on this one. Now, number three is Waka Waka. Catch down at the window. This is your captain speaking. No, 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 So it's all got you got just to you and I So she got her dick or so Ooh, baby, like a whale That was my third favorite. Now, this was one of my biggest surprise of the album. I was not expecting a song like this from them. When you think about Kingdom, you think about royalty, you think about grandiose, but 
for them to do a song like this, they just made me respect them and love them even more because there's nothing that makes me happier than an artist just surprising me by how versatile they are. Because as much as I love their concept, I love the vibe that they go for, my thing is I'm always afraid of artists, especially the ones that excel in a certain type of um, lane, to stop trying, stop going out there and just start giving the same thing over and over again because they know that's something that they can do really well and they start becoming one-dimensional. But that's not the case here. And this both surprised me and made me happy at the same time because with this, they are saying they can give us that royal vibe, that kingdom music that we used to, but they are able to switch things up and bring new vibes as well. This reminds me of the beach of the summer. It's nice, it's light, it's bright, and it's so different. And I was not expecting it from them. And the way that they delivered on the song is insane. Now, number two is Poison. Why oh why? I get no more fun and stupid lies. But you come to keep so keep so much joy. I tried and not a shook a thousand times. Oh yeah. Do that all you want me. Chani be on chill. Nega got pure. You will say this I not a real present. That's a moon and your go girl. That was my second favorite. This song, oh, it's so good. It's so addictive. It's so catchy that you know I love that. <laughs> like it hits so hard for no reason whatsoever, but it always gets me going. I love the song. Number one is Long Live the King. Time goes on, 
A lot of things are destroyed and gone, but I always exist. I protect my kingdom. That was my favorite song in this album. First of all, no song ever um, exude kingdom like this one. Like this is exactly the type of music that, that I think of when I think about kingdom. I love how there's just so much happening, but at the same time, it doesn't feel all over the place. Like it's intense, it's dramatic, but it's smooth. <laughs> what am I trying to say? It flows very well. Yeah, here, there you go. It flows very well together. And I really like it. I love the intensity. I love the melody. I love the vocals. I love the vibe. And it's just such an amazing song. So this album was yet another great um, one by Kingdom. And I'm so excited to see what they're going to do next because I'm loving the direction the music is taking. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up being your favorite. Also, if you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.